Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here from the Blu-ray Critic and uh, welcome to another edition of my Blu-ray slash 4K pickups haul update and yeah man, it's actually been a while since I've done one of these videos and the main reason for that is because I was working on a documentary, Haunted Homes of Hollywood and usually when I work on projects like that, I like to maintain my focus on the project itself. So since I wrapped that up already, I figured I can show you guys what I got. You know, as far as movies from the past couple weeks. So first up is a brand new release from Arrow Video called Basket Case, which was given a 4K restoration by the Museum of Modern Art, and it's a heartwarming tale. Well, I'm just joking, it's not really a heartwarming tale, but if you enjoy revenge films from the early 80s, then this Splatter Fest is a perfect film for you. And it's a film about a man who carries his formerly conjoined mutant twin brother, you know, in this uh, picnic basket. And uh, the reason for that is they want to seek revenge on the doctors who surgically separated them against their will many years earlier. And it's a uh, cheese fest of a good time, man. That's what I love about these films from the 80s. And Arrow did such a great job with this edition. I mean, it's loaded with tons and tons of bonus content from commentaries to brand new interviews. This is easily one of the best releases from Arrow this year. That is for sure. So this film was sourced from the original 60mm print by the Museum of Modern Art for this restoration and the image looks quite good thanks to the restoration job. It has the green intact, nice color saturation and it just basically looks like what you would expect a film from the 80s should be and it definitely delivers in that department most definitely. And as far as the audio I'm going to rate that a 4 but in terms of the picture I'm going to rate that a 4.5 out of a 5. And uh... The aspect ratio for this film is in the 1.33 format, and this is a region-free release. And this film happens to be the feature debut for uh, director Frank Henenlotter, who also went off and directed Brain Damage and Frankenhooker and, and a lot of those great cheesy movies from the 80s. So anyway, that is Basket Case, released by Arrow Video. And also from Arrow, but part of the Arrow Academy line, is a box set of uh, four French films by Sacha Guitry from uh, 1936 through 1938. And Sasha was mainly known to be a stage actor and actually had no intentions of being in front of the camera, but he thought he'd give it a try anyway and actually uh, worked out uh, quite well for him. He turned out to be one of the most famous uh, French actors. So the four films in this box set includes Let's Make a Dream, Let's Go Up to Champs-Élysées, The New Testament, and also My Father Was Right. And by the way, the set is very limited to only about 1,500 copies here in the States, so I would get this as soon as possible. Especially if you're a fan of French cinema and, you know, Arrow releases tend to sell out rather quickly. But, yeah, I've always been a huge fan of classic movies, especially French films. You know, as far as the uh, picture and audio quality, it's going to vary from movie to movie. And you are going to get a bit of scratches and dirt show up on a print, which is understandable. I mean, keep in mind, these movies are from the 1930s, but they did clean it up as best as possible for this release. So overall, I'm going to rate it a 4 out of a 5 for all four films. Although certain portions, it's really a three and a half, especially when the scratches show up and whatnot. But for the most part, it's really decent. So I think a four is a fair rating. And for the audio, I'm also going to rate that a four. And all four films are presented in the aspect ratio of 1.37. And this is a Region A release. So this is the uh, Sasha Guitry Four Films Collection. Alrighty, so now on to the rest of my pickups. I got the 4K edition of The Shape of Water. Directed by uh, one of my favorite directors of all time, Guillermo del Toro, and one of the nicest guys in the business as well. And of course, this film ended up winning Best Picture at the Academy Awards. And if you're familiar with del Toro's style, you know, his films are rather unique, and that pretty much is the case with this one too. Wonderfully acted, the whole concept is uh, different, and just really pleased with this one. It may not be a film for everybody, but uh, at least give it a try and see what you think. So it has, uh, you know, a decent amount of special features. Not bad. So... Ended up getting that. The next film I got is Murder on the Orient Express, again on 4K, which is starring and directed by Kenneth Branagh. And I love films that take place on trains, especially murder mystery type of movies. So this one was uh, definitely right up my alley. And I enjoyed it. It's not a great film by any means, but I didn't think it was bad. And it has an all-star cast, man. Johnny Depp's in the film, Judy Dench, uh, Willem Dafoe. So yeah, and a really nice presentation for this 4K release. The next movie I got is Downfall, man, the new Shot Select Edition, and this happens to be one of my favorite films of all time, and of course it's the story of how Germany is losing World War II, the final days of Hitler, and what a powerful performance by Bruno Gaines as Hitler, it's like you literally forget you're watching a movie, man, it's like, man, that's Hitler right there, but um, unfortunately this release doesn't do this film justice at all, I was greatly disappointed by it, it looks basically like a upconverted DVD, I mean, there's no fine details whatsoever, heavily smudged, 
heavily DNR'd. Just, I don't understand why. There's some supplements, but yeah, there's just the transfer itself is disappointing. So there's some image back there. So nice touch on that. But yeah, I was so disappointed by it that I ended up ordering the UK edition of this film. So at least that transfer I heard is a little bit better. So we'll see what happens. I'm actually still waiting for that one to arrive. But yeah, if you're still interested in this, pick it up. But I personally wouldn't recommend it. I would say, you know, hold off on that. Hopefully some other company will get a better, uh, you know, transfer and put it on Blu-ray. Up next is a new Woody Allen film, Wonder Wheel, which I thought is okay. It's definitely not Woody Allen's best. Uh, some of my favorite ones of Woody Allen, of course, is uh, Manhattan, Annie Hall. Also, uh, Midnight in Paris was a fantastic one. But this is, yeah, okay. So it stars, of course, uh, the girl from Titanic, Kate Winslet, Justin Timberlake's in the film, Jim Belushi. And, uh, yeah, this is actually, uh, I think, produced by Amazon as well. So you get the logo right there. And speaking of train films, ended up getting another one. This one is Runaway Train, the Twilight Time Edition. And I came across this for a cheap price. It was about 15 bucks and change. And, you know, Twilight Time releases are relatively expensive, about 30 35 bucks with uh, shipping. But sometimes they'll have sales, you know, going on. But um, there's some artwork behind here. Let me show you that. But, yeah, with John Voight, man, Eric Roberts, classic, classic film. Love this one. And I love prison escape movies and just overall the whole feel of this movie in the snow with the train tracks. Wonderful film. The next film I got is another Twilight Time edition, and this one is The Secret of Santa Vittoria, and it starred Anthony Quinn, Anna Magnani, wonderful Italian actress, and uh, she was also in one of my other favorite films called The Rose Tattoo with uh, Burt Lancaster. Powerful performance by her in that film, which still, unfortunately, isn't on Blu-ray, but hopefully one day Twilight Time or another company will get the ball rolling for us on that. But uh, yeah, this went out of print. There was about 50 left in stock, so I figured... Let me get it before it goes uh, out of print on me. But yeah, I have to check it out sometime soon. And last but not least, I got Dr. Zhivago. I've been actually wanting this edition for quite a while, and I came across this for about 12 bucks and change from a third party. So I figured for that price, it's definitely worth it. It also comes with the uh, CD soundtrack, so he definitely kept it in good shape, I must add. And it's, of course, directed by David Lehman, who directed Lawrence Arabia. Also, uh, Brief Encounter, which I love. So I got the Criterion edition of that. This really wonderful classic movie. From 1945. But uh, yeah, this one stars Omar Sharif, man. Also from Lawrence Arabia. Alec Guinness from the same film. Of course, Star Wars. So uh, that's it, guys, for uh, this week. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. And as usual, I'll see you guys soon in the uh, next update. Take care.